They say every journey begins with a single step. But in my case, it's a pretty big one that revolves around this animal right here, the Blue Tree Monitor. My name is Eddie Guerra, but for the last couple of years, I've been known as Father Blue Online. And I have amassed a big following who's been following the journey of me working with these animals, which has now led me here, building and finishing out a 51-foot catamaran. You might be asking why. Well, let me show you the lands of the Raja Ampat. Our goal to be able to freely maneuver and continue with our work and research both for these animals and the people that call these lands their home. I've dedicated the last five years of my life even going as far as to visit them at their natural habitat. Just to understand what they're doing out here in the wild naturally, what they're eating, how they're mating, how they're behaving. On researching, working, reproducing and educating the world about these animals. These beautiful lands have provided so much for the people and to me that I've made it my duty now to do everything I can in my power to both help them and the animals any single way that I can. I did appreciate what you have, you know, when you're at home compared to what we see them out here, you know, I mean, I'll be honest, dude, like deep down, even for my first trip, I left my first trip and I felt so worn inside because on one hand, I have these animals and it's a selfish reason why I have it, right? But I'm also trying to do this conservation thing, populate the, the world with them, donate them to zoos and places like this. Like that's, that's a big dream of mine. But the other side, I'm torn because I see them here naturally and they have this unlimited, unlimited, amount of like just movement you know whether they can go up down side to side a whole 40 miles of jungle they can explore their entire lifetime and then we we keep them in these boxes essentially at home it, it you know it tears me and you know i i don't want to see that if i could i'd go bigger but even going bigger i know that would never amount to what they have out here yeah so it you know it, it it's a hard place to be at seeing them naturally and then going home knowing like oh man I might be a part of this problem. I am a part of this problem, but I can still hold on to like that hope of like, I'm going to try to do my best to make a change, you know? And I, and I think we have, I think we have, you know, not to, not to spoil too much, but like when we came on this trip, these guys never thought about the protective, the protecting these animals in the wild. And since we've been here and showing them what we do and, and mine and one's stuff, keeping their home, their attitude towards saving the animals has changed dramatically. Where they're even coming to us with ideas that they want to implement for the protection of these animals, you know, for the future of these animals. And that's, that could mean to me. And so, it's official. This is now our vessel, our 51 foot project catamaran that we have very big plans for. And I can't wait for you guys to follow this journey and for us to reach the goal. You know guys, part of me still can't believe that uh, this is my, uh, my new project y'all. It's a uh, kind of, a lot to take in to be quite honest just because like you know we were expecting to buy a full ready boat and we had it already in negotiations and things happen and those deals fell through but then we got this wicked opportunity to take on this project and i can't tell you how blessed but overwhelmed i am at the same time because this ain't gonna be easy. It's gonna take all my skills that I've learned over the years, working and building and making to get this thing saleable. But I'm excited like a motherfucker, dog. Y'all have no idea. And the future of this, to be able to take this everywhere and seal it and do a whole bunch of cool stuff with it. Man, the sky is the limit. You have no idea. I mean, this thing compared to what I was, Looking at before, we were only able to fit like three people, two people in the other one. This one can fit. I don't even know, you guys. I don't even know, but 
she's mine now. And we're gonna do some really cool shit with this thing, I promise you guys. So originally, uh, this was a project by a pretty well-off gentleman um, from out of the country. And he had built this so that him and his family, I think his three kids and his wife, could uh, sail uh, in the Caribbean. And um, for whatever reason, the deal fell through, man. The deal fell through. And they invested a ton of energy, a ton of resources, a ton of money on this project. Um, the holes are all completely done out. Um, for those wondering what the hell this thing is, right? Because it doesn't look like much. This is a 51 foot ca catamaran. Um, they're home built catamarans, but this one was specifically built by an expert builder who specialized in these at the time. Um, and it was going on for six years. She's never been in the water. So this will be the first time once it's finished it being in the water and everything is brand new materials. Um, 51 foot, 26 foot wide. Um, and it has one, two, three, four, five, six cabins uh, with, I think it's one, two, three, four, five beds, bed sections, and then a kitchen and then a dining area, plus this massive deck area as well. And this could well be a quarter million dollar, half a million dollar boat when it's all finished, man. And it ain't gonna even cost me that much to be quite honest. So, dudes, <laughs> we fucking own a fucking boat project, a yacht project, y'all. Fucking wild. While I was all fun and games to see the dog. boat in person, I'll it was now time soon. for us to head home. And for the next couple of months, we're in for a whole heck of a lot of work. Water system and everything like that as well. So anything you have to make this this thing easier, <laughs> you let me know. Put it in a pile because I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely get it from you, man. <laughs> you bet. Awesome, awesome, Dave. Well, you got my number. My number's Ed, my name's Eddie, by the way. You know, um, I'll save right. your I'll save your number down here, and yeah, hopefully for the next couple of years, man, we're gonna be best friends, man. <laughs> you bet. All right, David. I'll talk to you okay. soon. All right. Thank you. All right. That was David Holiday. He is the guy that built this boat originally, and I just had a conversation with him about getting everything I need to make this. That's Crazy dude, that's great. This is like this is like this is like talking to I don't even know what to even he, I, he, ah, this is what a crazy time this entire adventure is gonna be. But you guys, this is just the beginning. Bye.